Recently, Google launched a new feature called Audio Overview in their product Notebook LM. In last June 2024, Google released it in 200 plus countries, so you can probably check and see if it's accessible in your country. The new feature, Audio Overview, lets you upload a particular document and click on a button called Audio Generate and it generates a podcast style of conversation between two people on that particular subject that you uploaded. Let's see how quickly you can do that. Let's open notebooklm.google.com in your browser. Click on New Notebook. Here we have three different options. One is Google Drive, Link and Paste Text. In this case, uh, I'm going to look at a PyTorch example on which I made a blog, sorry, on which I made a video recently. Let's upload that website here and say insert. Once you do this, you get this notebook guide. Sometimes you don't see this, so you have to click on this button, you will find this. Then in the audio overview, click on generate. It's going to take a few minutes, so you can probably grab a coffee and you can come back. So once it is generated, what you can do is you can click on this. Okay, so today we're diving into the world of large language models. LLMs. Yeah, exactly. Those AI heavyweights like ChatGPT that everyone's talking about. Right. You know, they can write you. We listen to a small snippet of the actual audio clip. I took an effort of listening to the entire audio clip, which is around eight minutes, made few observations. Number one, Audio Overview does a decent job in summarizing the entire article in less than 30 seconds. The second one is, it actually introduces examples when required to make understanding the concept much easier. And the third, to understand the other observations, let's take a step back and understand how the Audio Overview is structuring the conversation. It's structuring the conversation as if it's happening between two people, let's say A and B. The problem starts here. One big problem that I saw is before A completes his conversation, B starts his conversation, which makes it very difficult to listen. But sometimes it's just about letting it run wild on a racetrack. Yeah. The next important thing is, though it sounds like a conversation between A and B, if we observe closely, A starts a sentence, B takes a bit of that sentence, then A again goes and fills its sentence. In reality, the conversations do not happen like that. In reality, A probably makes a statement and B kind of makes questions or tries to say, I agree to that statement, but this audio overview is not doing chat GPT. Run at breakneck speeds. Using just PyTorch. We're taught. Squeezing every ounce of performance. Look out of your hardware. The most alarming thing is you have this problem of LLMs hallucinating. Basically it can generate random text, need not be true at all, though it can look true. When I noticed the audio, audio overview, it also did something similar. Instead of seeing model quantization, it said data quantization. They look similar, they look correct, but in reality, there's a small difference which makes a big difference in the meaning of how they work. The model is much larger when it comes to AI uh, models. The data is usually the smaller one. The model quantization offers a huge value, whereas the data quantization offers a very little value. Next up, they tackled the data itself. Using a technique called quantization. These are some of my important observations. At high level, the product looks super useful, but when you look closely, you find all these nuances. So it's very important that we use these tools very carefully and as usual, use it as an augmented tool, just like any other AI applications. Please share your experiences in the comments and let's see you in the next video.